Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect up a PS4 controller up to your Linux machine so you can use it on the PC SX2 emulator, which is a PlayStation 2 emulator. So that's, you know, pretty cool stuff. And you can either do this wired or wireless. Let me show you the controller now. So you should be seeing the DualShock 4 PS, you know, PlayStation 4 controller. And you can do it on any of them, you know, whether it's the old one that, you know, had a slight different, you know, LED or the, you know, the new ones. Either way, it's fine. It has Bluetooth built in. So you can either A, connect it up via micro USB and that's just plug and play or you can sync it via Bluetooth. I'm going to show you the Bluetooth option because the, you know, you know, the cable option is literally just plug a micro USB cable into here and then plug in the regular end into your computer and then the setup stage in PCSX2 will be the same. Okay, so what you want to do is go to your Bluetooth settings. This may you know differ depending on what Linux distro and version you are using. So just you know figure that out and get to the Bluetooth settings. Next, what you want to do is put this into pairing mode. To do that, it's really simple. See this share button right here and the PlayStation button. If you keep both of them pressed, this will start flashing. That means it's in pairing mode. So I'm just going to keep both of them pressed. As you can see, it is now flashing. A wireless controller option will appear here. And we just click that. It will connect. This has now turned blue. That means it's connected. That's it. So now we can go to PCSX2. Yours won't look this small. It's just because, you know, I'm zoomed in on the screen. So it looks a little, you know, small. But what you want to do is go to controllers, plugin settings, and you can map it for your know, pad one and two. I want to clear this just so I can show you that we're doing it from the start. And what we want to do is start mapping all of the controls like i said this looks a little dodgy you know it's, it's things are cut out because i've got you know zoomed in so it's easier for you to see in terms of the size but you won't have any of this issue so you click l2 it's not detecting it well that, that was my mouse that did that ah one second let me close it down let me relaunch it Plugin settings, and there we go. Okay, so we have another option here, clear this. So that's what you have to do when you connect up a new controller, forgot to do that, you have to make sure PCSX2 is closed down and then reopen it. As you can see, it's detected, you know, the wireless controller option as well. So we can actually mix and match. So we could have a, you know, bit in the key with a mouse, bit in here. So, or if you want to find the movements with the mouse, you could have, you know, both. So that's really cool stuff. And okay, let's start mapping everything. So if you just click R2, R1, and now let's do the face buttons, triangle, circle, X, and square, and then the analog stick. So like I said, it'll be easier for you to read on your screen, and R3 is just clicking this in. Now let's switch over to the left side of the controller. Okay, so up left right down l3 now let's do you know these buttons here it's kind of awkward when i'm doing it in one hand but it is what it is and now let's do the arrows the d-pad That mapped it correctly. One second. Okay, yeah, that's mapped here. 
or you will map the net and then let's do start and select and you just use the share buttons for these and okay so that's it so you can do a pad two as well so you can just clear if you want to like i said be easier for you to read now click okay so now we're ready to run a game and i've got a iso you know tekken 4 i'm gonna go to fast so it goes directly into the game That's not good. One second, let me turn the volume down as well. Ooh, what happened there? Okay, it's not letting me. Oh. Okay, so up and down doesn't seem to have mapped correctly. Let me sort that out. So let's go off this. Go to config controller plugin settings and oh, it should be up and down. Okay, and down. Let's try that again. Make this a little bigger. Hmm. Okay, it's, it's all right now. Okay, so that was strange. You know, I have a, I have a feeling the moment because I'm doing you know a recording as well because it worked fine you know, with you know, before. So let me just get into the game and you know show you that it is you know working. Mm, my control has gone out to focus. Should be in focus now. Yeah, it's in focus now. So let's defeat Yoshimitsu. Okay, you might be wondering why is it, you know, the frame rate low? It's just because, again, I'm recording the screen. So usually the frame rate is fine. Again, obviously, that is also dependent on your computer as well. So it's neither here nor there, really, as long as, you know, the controller is mapped, which it is. And as you can see, we can pause there we go so as you can see we can use the controller and that is how you connect up a ps4 controller wirelessly but wired you just plug it in and then just map it in the settings as well so that's how you do it on a linux machine if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video